you know, we try and guide him a little bit with, with bits and bobs relating to Islam. But obviously, You've met him person to person? Yeah, yeah, we've done a podcast together. Yeah, yeah, so I missed all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. we've done a podcast yeah. together and stuff. I mean, obviously with the whole riots thing, we don't, we, we don't agree with him. Okay. No, no, I can tell. Yeah, I can yeah. tell. So that's, like that's a, big... a point, it's a point of tension. But yeah. for us as Muslims, we, people find this a bit odd from the outside. But if you have a fraternity with Islam, if you have become a Muslim, yes. then you are still given kind of like the family treatment. Yeah. So although yeah, he's being yeah, yeah. lambasted and stuff by the Muslim People community. People want him to be a Muslim. Like, right, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, we would never kind of like try and push someone away from being a Muslim or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So for us, it's not like a left issue or right issue because Islam is not left wing and it's not right wing. Yeah. There are some aspects of leftist ideology which Islam maybe accepts, yeah. like the cosmopolitan stuff, you know, the multiracial stuff, all that yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, all right. Acceptance and tolerance. Islam does have that. At the same time, there's a lot more, maybe in the right, social conservatism, which Islam maybe would connect yes. with as well. But in terms of people, on some issues, Muslims are more aligned with leftists because like on the Palestine issue, I think there's a great alliance there. Yeah. Um, and the right wing, obviously, you have the immigration issues and stuff like that. So yeah. we're, we don't fit nicely within the left or right wing mm. spectrum. We've got our own set of beliefs that we believe in. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yes. What do you, what do you, what's your background? What do you believe My background, in? I'm an old lefty, old from the okay. old days. I don't think I've ever changed my views <laughs> since the 90s. I was sort of, um, might be called like a festival lefty maybe, a okay. rave culture lefty yeah. or something yeah. like that. All right, yeah, can I ask yeah. you a question? Go on. Being what you are, mm. if we're being totally honest, do you feel like you found purpose in life? Like objective purpose? Um, when I was filming, I thought I did. And I haven't done very much filming since, which is why um, this is something I'm particularly interested in. Okay. And so I start again, like, yeah. See, the thing is, here's what we would say, right? We would say that unless you have an objective purpose in life, mm. the fundamental questions about where you came from and what you're doing in this planet mm. can never be answered. Mm. And if that's the case, you will live a purposeless existence, which will lead to depression and anxiety. Okay. Oh, it has done. It has done. Yeah, but but um, but I think um, it's also led to. Um, uh, solutions based um, solutions based sort of attitude and, and when I saw Andrew Tate speaking and I thought what he was saying about Tommy Robinson they both come from Luton yeah. and I thought if the three of you got together yeah. you Tommy Robinson I know you tried down in uh, you tried down in, um, in in front of Parliament yeah and I, I, I saw Ali Dower I saw his Thing, he was supposed to be reading yeah, yeah, at Tommy, yeah. and it was really really good what he wrote like, I'm not yeah. saying Ali Dow was great no, a, a, a but big what he wrote himself was, true. was really really a good a big part of the problem to, a big part yeah. of the problem is that people don't know what we're about the Muslim community they don't understand what Islam is in the first place well they don't understand what Tommy Robinson is about either they don't understand no, no, what Andrew Tate is about either sure sure but here's I mean as we said it's like um, Andrew Tate embraced Islam right yes so Islam was something that Andrew Tate adopted Yes. Do you understand? So yeah. the, the point I'm making to you here is that going back to the conversation about purpose, yes. right? Because you, you said something quite significant, but then you moved on to another. I think well, this I'm is trying more. to interview you. No, about no, no, no. I, I, no, we can talk about that as well. But yeah, I think yeah, this yeah, is very important. Right. Yeah, yeah. Consider the following, right? You said that being a leftist and having this kind of uh, laissez-faire attitude towards life and solutions-based, you call it and whatever, yeah. it's had its per benefits, but it's also, you could argue, led to depression and anxiety, right? Well, I think in the 90s, when we were all taking ecstasy, yeah. we really, really thought that everyone was going to get together and solve everything. Yeah. And then when uh, things started to all fall to pieces, and everything we were like oh my god you know we can't take more drugs to solve this like, exactly yeah. Yeah. so i uh so instead that that's why i started why filming. do okay let me ask you a question you've done a lot of that right so a bit of so, yeah i used so, to film with hamza abu hamza and finsbury Park. oh really yeah let I, me ask you yeah. this question right when you were doing ecstasy what were you trying to achieve what was your purpose what were you trying to do um exp i suppose it's all about mind expansion isn't it and, okay and and uh views of yourself and stuff for the purpose of what um, uh, social cohesion. I mean, it stopped football violence. No, I, no, I, I, no, no, I, I get you. I, sure, sure. But violence. what I'm saying is that why would you do that, for example? Why would you want to be? Why is it important to do social cohesion? Um, I don't know. Maybe we read some Red Hunter S. Thompson and we sure. read things like that. And uh, and and uh, I think I think your first ecstasy hit or your first acid hit, you, you sort of um, yeah. you sort of. Uh, yeah. You sort of feel like you're following something. You're almost, almost like a. It's almost rave became almost like a church. But what are you looking for? What now? No. When you're doing that, what are you looking for? 
Um, uh, cohesion. Um, and okay, let's say you've achieved and, cohesion. And let's say you, ecstasy. Let's say you've. Ecstasy. Let's say you have achieved cohesion. Mm. Yeah. Now everyone's together. Yeah. Now what? Well, that, I mean, this is the thing. A, a lot of people who take that, that they became uh, quite apolitical. This is why um, I think the first no, wave revolution, revolution. That's fine. But what, what does that achieve? Mm. What does it do for you when you're okay? Now you've got social cohesion. So what? No, but the point I'm making to you is, look, the reason why I'm, this Socratic line of reasoning has a reason, right, which is the following. What I'm trying to say to you is that whatever you're trying to do in your life, whatever feeling you're trying to achieve, mm. human beings are meaning-making machines. Yeah. You, me and everyone else. Yeah, yeah. Right? So what we're doing is we're trying to find meaning and purpose. Yeah, I mean, what, what feels good inside us, man? What How feels like right inside But let me ask you a question. Is what feels good always what is right? Sometimes what can feel good can be wrong, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so what I'm, trying to, what I'm trying to say to you is, what I'm trying to say to you is that there comes a point where you have to ask yourself a fundamental question. Yeah. What is the purpose of life? Yes. Do you have an answer to this question? Have no, you thought? No, have you thought no. about it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I used to be a Christian. I've been through all... all uh, I think rave was... Uh, our rave culture and a political rave culture was a, was a purpose for a bit. Now... Um, I don't know, that's why I started okay. filming again. So what I'm trying to say to you is the following, right? Yeah. In order to answer this question, this question, this fundamental, most important, this teleological question, mm. you've got to ask yourself another preamble question, which is the following. Where did you come from? What are you doing here? And where are you going? If you answer these three questions, one, two, and three, the question of what is the purpose of life becomes easy to answer. Yeah, but like, but you may believe something and it may you find out at the end of your life that it's wrong. I mean, sorry. That's true, that's true. I, I mean, I might have to edit things. No, because, no, 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 it's fine. I'm particularly answering about a particular question. No, no, I understand and what you're saying. On to, um, I, I, like we I can speak I, I about I spent, that. I spent, I, spent, I spent three years, but we can uh, speak about both. filming uh, Hamza's. No, no, I get friends. that. I get I, it. I've, I've had a lot of this I'm, conversation. I, I'm with you. Well, we can yeah. have that conversation that you mm. want to have as well, mm. but I'm just trying to have this conversation as well. I think yeah. it's very important for you and yeah, for me and for everyone else. I can believe you. All right, so look, the purpose of life, the question of what is the purpose of life? As I mentioned, there are three questions that if you answer them, it will answer this question, it will help you answer this question. The first question is, where did you come from? So let's try and answer this question. Where did the universe come from? I don't think anyone's got any idea. Did it come from nothing? No, at the end of our lives, we're all going to find out. Okay, but could it come from nothing? At the end of our lives, we're all going to find out. Could, a unit, could something come from nothing? I don't know. I no, no, you, no, no idea. No, no, that's fine. But yeah. can something no come idea. from nothing? No idea. All right, something. Zero plus zero can equal one. No right, idea. so if you consider it, consider it. No one's got any idea. No, no, no. But how do you know that no one's got any idea? Uh, because I've talked a lot. Is it is it possible that someone can have an idea? No one's coming up with it yet. Yeah. All right, totally so let's possible, yeah? let's yeah, entertain. Yeah, yeah. Let's stand in the possibility. Let's entertain the possibility for a second. Yeah. I used to believe that. Uh, yeah. Jesus and Christianity. Jesus yeah. died for my sins. Sure. And I totally believe that. And but let's do let's what you call a logical disjuncture. Let's look at eliminatively all the possibilities and let's explore them. All right. So let's number one. The universe could it come from nothing. So what is nothing? It's the absence of something. Yeah. It's the absence of something. It's not, a, it's not a space, it's not an empty space. Nothing is the absence of something. It's zero. Do you think some, you're going to prove something to me here? I'm not proving. No, but what we... What we're doing is, we're, this is... Like when you take ecstasy, yeah? When you take ecstasy, you take the... What is it, a pill or whatever, yeah? You take the pill, and then you just let your mind do the work. Right? So in a, in a, in a similar way, and you have to be open-minded. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. Wait, okay. What I'm saying is that right now, it's the same kind of experience, but it's only a bit more structured. Mm. Have to be open-minded, be sincere, think about it. Mm. All right? Because what we're trying to achieve here is purpose. What we're trying to find here is purpose. That's what we're trying to find. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Okay, so option A, could something come from nothing? Zero plus zero, could it ever equal one? Could it? Uh, I've no idea. I mean, like, right. if, if someone put a, if someone put a gun, physics people will have all sorts of arguments. No, sure, but if someone put a gun to your head and said, "Look, here's a here's a mathematical sum. Here's zero plus zero. What does it equal? What are you going to put as the answer to that question?" Zero. Okay. So me and you agree now, then. So from nothing, nothing comes. But I mean, we go past that and we go, who made God? No, we're not, we're, we're not God. talking about God it, anyway. It goes we're, on the same... But, but no, I, get, it, I get what you're I've saying. Been on the, I've been on this one a long No, no, long I understand. Time. But just entertain... We're a lot of different Muslims. Entertain the possibility for a second. Just entertain mm. it. Mm. All right, zero plus zero equals what? Zero. Mm. Someone put a gun to your head and said, look, if 
you get this wrong, we'll shoot you. Maybe a loved one. They'll say, if you get this answer wrong, we'll shoot them as well. Sorry to put you in that thought experiment. But let's say for a second. All right. Zero plus zero equals zero. Fine. The universe could not have come from nothing because from nothing, nothing comes. Right? Okay. Could the universe have created itself? No idea. Okay. Well, think about it, right? How would I know? It's like a mother giving birth to herself. Can something exist and not exist at the same time? Well, how, how would I know? I mean, yes. something's happened, doesn't it? Go on. Quantum is it? No, but consider the following. What I'm saying here is that can something exist and not exist at the same time? According to quantum physics. Oh, that physics, is quantum physics, physics isn't it? Tell me, yeah. tell me how in quantum physics this, well, this works. By you looking Bell's at theorem. it and then looking away, isn't it? Yeah. Explain more. Bell's theorem posits that for quantum physics to work, which it demonstrably does, there's only three mathematical ways to explain it. Okay. The actual theorem is like, fucking may as well be yeah. Greek. Yeah. Pardon my language. No, that's no, right. But there's only three possibilities. Yeah. One is that um, the uni reality of the universe is a blind machine that's purely deterministic. Okay. Math Mathematically, that's very unlikely, according to the theorem, but it's still possible. The second is that special relativity, you know, physics, everything, is wrong, which is impossible. Okay. There's something about the right. existing so if you're looking at... Here's, 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 let's let's at entertain what you're saying for us. Go on. Is that there are hidden variables, yeah. and that does all the heavy lifting. There's sure. something that can't be explained. All right. And so also quantum entanglement. Sure. Things can exist in the same... Well, on the quantum level, they can right. exist in the same... That, uh, time, place twice, same. yeah, I've seen that. However, here's, here's what I'm going to respond to that with, yeah? You might have um, read Stephen Hawking's Brief History of Time. Well, I haven't actually. <laughs> right, because you seem very educated, so that's why I said I'm that. I'm not educated, but I read a lot. He's got, but... he's got, a, he's got a chapter, right. Stephen Hawking's, you know, the one that was... Yeah, in, yeah, yeah. He's got a chapter on time travel. Yeah, you might have seen that film, Je Interstellar. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein's have you, <laughs> <laughs> have you seen Interstellar? No. There's, no. A, there's a film called Interstellar, where they go into, like, in the future and stuff. I don't yeah? want to film anyway. Yeah, no problem, but I'm just saying, yeah, there's a film. Now, the idea of travelling into the future, Hawking says it's a possibility because all it is is really, what is time? It's uh, distance over speed. The dimension, yeah. In terms of like a uh, special relativity, that space-time continuum. Space so we're talking, it's really distance over, time equals distance over speed, yeah? So he says, yeah, it's possible to go into the future. But then he talks about going into the past. And he says that it's not possible to go into the past. And the reasoning he gives for that is that it will lead to contradictions. Right, and the most famous one is called the grandfather paradox. I'm not sure if you've heard of it, right? It, yeah. Grandfather paradox is the following. Imagine now I go into a time machine. There was another film back in the day called Back in the Future. Yeah, uh, what's the time? Back, back to the future. Yeah, back yeah. to the future. You go back into your, into your past. Imagine now I meet my granddad. Yeah, and I kill him. Do you see the contradiction in that? If I kill him, I shouldn't exist. I, exist. I shouldn't exist. Exactly. Place. So grandfather paradoxes People like Stephen Hawkins and logicians across the board would agree that it cannot happen because it leads to contradictions. Whatever axiom, because quantum physics depends on what you call axioms, yeah? Axioms yeah. are what you use as a starting point to actually understand the scientific process. Whatever axiom you're going to use to do quantum physics cannot contain a self-contradiction because whatever starts with a contradiction leads into a contradiction and a contradiction is always false. In logic, by the way, in logic, from a contradiction, anything follows. From a contradiction, anything follows. So what I'm trying to say is that the idea of something existing and not existing at the same time is a logical impossibility. Whether or not quantum physicists decide that, okay, well, we don't have a theory of everything which uh, basically uh, puts between the micro and the macro. So we go back to our logical disjuncture. We said option one was, could the universe come from nothing? And we said, we all agreed, that nothing is the absence of something and from nothing nothing comes zero plus zero equals one it's not possible number two is can the universe create itself now even if you say well i'm going to just throw the word quantum physics it's it's not enough to just to say quantum physics I'm, really no, no, well, hold, I, I know i'm gonna let you but here, here's the point so say if you say quantum physics i'm gonna say that before you even talk about quantum physics if you talk about the double split experiment or any other experiment within quantum physics you first have to demonstrate logically a priori, how it's possible for a contradiction to exist. Because if you say that, okay, something can exist or not exist at the same time, you're not making just a, a, a point about physics, you're making a point about metaphysics. So you have to oh, first, yeah. 
So you have, to, you have to prove it on a metaphysical level that there could be such a thing as a contradiction before you use quantum physics as some kind of saving grace, which it can't be. Do you see what I'm trying to say? I do see what you're trying to say. Yeah. Like, and that's the difficulty with quantum physics, because on the submolecular level, like, I'm getting this wrong, on the quantum level, yeah. the rules seem to change. Like um, the waveform, like, um, the collapse waveform, yeah. something exists, it's both... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double split, no, double split experiment. Yeah, yeah. A wave and a, and, a, and a particle. The form, yeah. Sorry. The waveform, once it's been observed, the yeah. waveform collapses and it's, it makes it very difficult to. I mean, I feel like that the two arguments are sort of leading to a similar place. Here's what I'm going to say to you. No, but here's what I'm trying to say to you. There's a difference between a paradox and a contradiction. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so anyone will tell you quantum physics leads to a series of paradoxes. Okay? The difference between a paradox and a contradiction is that a paradox looks like a contradiction and it actually isn't. Whereas a contradiction is things which are opposite in every respect. That's the definition of a contradiction back in the day of Aristotle. That's how you define it. That something has to be in, in opposal form in every single respect, right? That is a logical impossibility. So even if one says that, okay, well, you've got the double, double split experiment, you can have a particle, one particle at two different places at the same time. You can have Harry Potter actually happen in the quantum physics world. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> because you know how the guy went through the, what is it, uh, nine, and and three Harry nine and three Potter. quarters? There was a Harry Potter. He went through the, the platform. Yeah. Yeah. In the quantum world, you can observe stuff like that. I'm not saying anything. I'm not, I'm not even denying any of that. But I'm saying that these, from the macro level, they look like contradictions, but they're in fact what? Paradoxes. They're looking for, physicists are looking for the theory of everything that will combine between what you see on the subatomic level yeah. and what you see on the, on the physics level. Yeah, but yeah. because of the volatility of physics, like back in the days when I used to study it, maybe 15, 16 years ago. I'll tell you better read than I No, am. no, but I'm saying like, no, 15, 16 in school, the books have changed. String theory, yeah, this, that, yeah. everything is changing. So what I'm trying to say is, these are theories. Theories can never be used to attack a logical principle through which, and, through which and by which everything can be explained. Like for example, uh, Leibniz, who, who, who invented calculus, he said with two things you can explain everything in the world. He said the theory of non-contradiction and what you call the principle of sufficient reason. With these two things you can explain everything in the world. Without them you can explain nothing. Mathematics doesn't make sense, physics doesn't make sense, science doesn't make sense. If you remove the, uh, the law of non-contradiction, Nothing can make sense, not any kind of science, not any kind of maths, not any kind of physics or whatever. Why, why I'm bringing this to the table is to show you that, okay, when we go back to the logical disjuncture, you've got option A. Option A is that, can something come out of nothing? We say no, because that's impossible. Can something create itself, but that will have to exist and not exist at the same time, which is a contradiction. So we're left with option three, yeah? That the, okay, you can, you can have another option, which is the universe was always there. No, no, the universe was always there. The third option I like from Bell's theorem is we don't bloody know yet. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, wait, you're, say, you're saying we don't know. But I said he, that like ages okay. ago. Like, yeah, can, yeah. I, can I say something to you, bro? Yeah. Sorry, by, saying, by saying you don't know. Sorry, no, you carry on. <laughs> but, uh, when, you, when you make a statement of, of agnosticism, you're actually making a statement of knowledge. Yeah, I suppose so. So when you say, like, for example, I, we don't know. If you, say, we, we, if you say we don't know, mm. yeah, you're saying what we do know. Mm. So, so how do you know? So how do you know that we don't? YouTube how do you know that we don't? How do you? Well, you want us to talk louder. You want us to talk louder. Huh? You want us to talk louder, like in the old days yeah, when people all shouted at each other. Camera. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. I think you you have got a point. No, you have got a point. <laughs> he's, he's right. He's right. He has got a point. He's right. Anyway. Yeah. Hey, sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. We should shout. We should talk louder too. So he's got a point. So the, going back to the point now. I mean, should be arguing. Let's let's entertain a third idea for the sake of argument. Go let's on. entertain that the universe was always there, even though Big Bang cosmology goes against yeah. it. For the sake of argument. Yeah, sake of argument. Okay. If the universe was always there. What's generating it? Is it independent or is it dependent? So we go back to the question. Is the end, would you agree that we exist in the universe? Oh, I'm not certain. Okay, so you, you don't agree that you exist? <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I've got a lot of weird ideas. Okay, no, no. Yeah, yeah. no. If someone had a gun to your head. Do you know Rene Descartes? If someone had a gun to your head and said to you, look, if you answer this correctly, I'm going to shoot. the quantum immortality theory. No, you won't. <laughs> no, you won't try that. Because like you want to try it already. Like point of crisis. Point of crisis, you like, but I'm not certain. Like, you know Rene Descartes? I think, therefore I am. 
I think a better way to put that would be, I think that I think, therefore I think that I am. You think you're a zombie? You think you're a zombie? I don't know. Can I, what's, what's your name? What, what's your name? My name's Pete. That Pete, was the name Pete I... Pete and Dave, yeah? Dave. Can I, can I say something? Yeah, mate, Can I say something to you? I think there's something psychological going on here. Okay. Bear with me for a second. Something psychological, which is that, is it that you don't know? Or is it that you want to not know? I'm asking you a question here and think about it carefully. Oh, I'd love to know. No, no, no. <laughs> Genuinely, do you care to know? Do you want to know? Like, here's what I'm saying to you right now. If I had an, if I had an, if I had an, if I had an envelope, if I had an envelope, yeah, inside of it, what are the final answers about religion, about what your purpose is, whatever. Would you open that envelope? Honest question. Yeah, yeah, probably. You'd want to know? Yeah, probably. Why not? Probably, but is it something that you but, really but, crave? But you, you, you'd want to know who, who wrote the envelope. Who, who, now, forget about know, that for now. Let's just... It? The thought experiment is for yeah, sure. Why not? I, would I, you open I it? I've opened lots of doors. Of course. You want to open it? We've opened lots All right, of doors. Let's say, let's maybe say, I'd wait till I was on my deathbed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But let's say you open the envelope, yeah? When you're opening the envelope, and it said, let's just for the sake of argument say, religion is true. Are you going to change your life? Um, yeah, I'd be like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would you change your life? Yeah, I'd imagine so, if you thought there was a big hell then. Okay, let's assume now one more. But I mean, hell is very much in people's imagination, isn't it? No, no problem. I mean, if you read the Quran, it says someone's tongue is going to be pulled out and things be stuck into them. Can, so, like, can I someone's imagination, can, obviously, isn't it? Can it's I, like, okay, it's like, um, okay, okay. You know that horror film with the okay, guy's yeah, thing yeah. sticking out of his head? Can I ask you a question? Someone's imagination. Someone's imagination, yeah? All right, let me ask you a question. Right now, I just spoke about quantum physics, right? Yeah. I said that quantum physics is like what? Harry Potter. Everyone here agreed. You agreed and you agreed. I, I've never have you ever... No, I've got no idea. No, no, no. Harry no, Potter or quantum physics. Doesn't matter. But the point is, you are using quantum physics as a means to prove a point, which means you must actually accept its credibility, right? Now, here's the point. Oh, no, uh, no, no, but hold on, hold on. It seems to me that the new age religion of people is not religion in the traditional right. sense of heaven and hell, yeah. but it's something that no one has ever seen before. No one's seen, no one has seen a particle be in two places at the same time. No one's seen that. No one's seen a particle go through walls. No one's seen that. But we've no only, one's concerned with it either. No, but, very few people. No, no, very people are concerned with it. What I'm trying to say is, we haven't seen it. It's in someone's what? Imagination. It is in someone's yeah, imagination. Yeah, I would say but so, everyone yeah. accepts it as fact. No, 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 no. No, no. no they, a lot of them do. A lot of people yeah. accept it as fact. Would you accept? Um, I don't accept it. Because people read it or understood it. A lot of people any accept it as fact. Any more than All right. The, the point is, is. Nobody understands. The point I'm making is that it's the only difference between someone who accepts quantum physics as a legitimate enterprise and the equivalent of Harry Potter would, ex would be explicable inside of it versus religion is that you accept the authority of one and you don't accept the authority of the other. Do you see oh, the point? We're coming down to the, the, the appeal to authority. Like, no, no, I'm just saying that you... have a certain amount of sympathy. Yeah, that, yeah, like, do you know what I mean? So you'd have more respect and for the authority of the quantum physicist than you do for the, for example, founders of a religion. But if, for, for instance, there's evidence presented to you that these founders of religion have for their authority, then it wouldn't it make sense to accept their version of events, even if it sounds myth mythical, even if it sounds like someone's imagination, in the same way as you would with quantum physics? If I um, was into accepting anyone's point of anything, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that wasn't, like I say, like all this is, um, way off of what I was came here to talk to you about which was no, we'll the cohesion which is going on we'll, we'll in about, England we'll talk about at that. the moment we can talk about that as well uh, stuff which has been happening over the last few no, weeks no, you're right, over the last few we'll years we'll talk about this but I'm just saying you know what I mean I know and but, I was particularly interested but I'm, in, yeah, yeah, in, in yeah, yeah. stick the subject to the people who are alive we'll talk, now we'll, we'll talk about this we'll talk about this yeah right but I'm just trying to talk about you something else. You can talk to him about that when he's doing yeah, yeah, no. No, you can't, no, no, you hey, carry on. It's hey, all right. Here's, yeah, the, yeah, here's, the, right, you here's the point I'm making with you right yeah. now. Yeah? When you look at the options of how we came to exist, yeah. remember we said the following. Let's just go back. Yeah. We said that, do you not agree that the purpose of life is a question that is worthy of answering? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So then we said there's three questions that would help us answer that question. The first one is, how did we get here? Mm. Number two is what we're doing here. And number three is where we're going. And we were on number one. And you would accept now that we've looked at the other alternatives that the universe came from nothing, the universe created itself, that the universe was always there and it doesn't have a sufficient response for why you have a universe with all this energy inside of it. You see? So now we're at the point there, does it make sense to say that there was an entity outside of the universe that has brought 
force the universe and is keeping the universe in existence? Turtles all the way down, man. Okay, what is another explanation? Turtles all the one. way down. Yeah. Oh, you don't have one? Because yeah, there, no, here's turtles a, all the way down is the, the best the point yeah. I'm, But here's what yeah. I'm trying to say to you, right? If you look at all the, if eliminatively, if you look at all the possibilities, all the possibilities of how we could have gotten here, there is no better explanation than that there's a necessary being, an independent being that brought forth everything that exists in to the... You. No, I'm saying in general. To you. Can, you'd have to bring forth another one. To you. That, that, you understand that. And, okay. And for me, it's, it's just as likely, but nothing happened. Nothing. Uh, no, but you just said that nothing, if, you, if someone had a gun to your head and someone said, well, if, does zero plus zero equals one? Yeah, but like, then... then uh, do you get it? Maybe I don't understand nothing. Maybe nothing is bigger than me. Like, you know I mean? No, but what I'm trying to say to like you the, is, like it's not saying to, the God it's, is bigger than you're me. saying this to me. I'm saying it's not to me. I'm saying if we look eliminatively, in general, if you think logically about all the options, all the options that the universe came from nothing, the universe created itself, yeah. that the universe was always there in an independent way. Yeah. All these options are not plausible, which leaves us with only one option, which is something other than the universe brought into existence the universe and is maintaining the universe. And what brought that into existence? So if we do that, that's a yeah. good question. Now if we do right. that, if we say if what brought that into existence, we'd have an infinite regress. Turtles all the way down. If we have an infinite regress of causation, yeah. then we would never get to a point where we are now. But, but we, we won't know, will we, until we die, will we? No, I'm just saying, like, like, like if, I'm, I'm, I'm entertaining if, his if question. You, if you die and you find out, oh wow, nothing actually came from nothing. How do you know you that know, we don't know? Okay, can you prove that we don't know? Well, yeah, because no one, no one, uh, I, it, it seems to be all according to perspective, doesn't it? Your perspective. No, no. People seem very, very certain of things, don't they? And, and uh, they later in life, they go, what on earth was that all about? No, but how do you know that we don't know the answers to this question? How do you know that? But I don't know that either, I mean. So you don't know that? Well, no one knows that, do they? I mean, no, no, but, man and circle, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Like, might, because like, you just said. We either how, came from okay. a creator or yeah. we came from nothing. No, we just said we come from nothing. It's not an option. We just explored that. Well, you, you think it's not an option. We just you said it Maybe as well. There's some sort of magic which it, it comes from or something. Magic. Something beyond what we understand or something. Okay. I mean, magic I mean, is I mean, supernatural. The, the, the earliest, magic is supernatural. The earliest texts say that we made got made by Aaron and Aki, didn't they? The earliest texts, what the Bible was mostly yeah. ripped off. From. We're not talking it about. Comes yeah. from, say we were made by aliens. Some. Yeah. I, I can't remember. We're not. We're not. Say, but we're not talking about human beings yeah. here. He made us. Yeah. 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 Some, some, but Dave, some aliens Dave, who were, who but, were not but, by but Dave, we're not. If you look at the, if you look at the original Genesis, yeah. it says that um, yeah. that uh, yeah. you will become like one of us. Dave, I'm not talking. But Dave, listen. And they take all the plurals out of the Bible. But Dave, I'm not talking about human being or human life here. I'm well, talking about the universe. The who made the aliens that made no, us? I'm talking about the universe. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not talking about human life because that's just one. We're a slither of. I don't think I'm going to know. So now so you, you see, there's a shift in your. Articulation because before you said we don't know, now you're saying I don't know. Then you said I don't know I don't that we don't I'm know. Gonna, no. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. here's what I'm trying to say to you is you still haven't decided whether it's possible to know. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. Is it so you have to first decide whether it's like possible? 50 odd and I, I, uh, is it possible I to know? I don't know. So, okay, so in that, ca in that case, uh, so, 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 if, if you say you don't know, <laughs> you understand. Okay, do you know that you don't know? I, uh, um, I don't know that I don't know that I don't know. So you can't really make it. So do you, you, under, you understand that this cop out. You I'm a pure agnostic. It's all, no, no, hold on, hold on. But I, I, even agnosticism is a statement of knowledge. If you're saying I don't know, yeah, you're yeah. still making a statement but of knowledge. Just thoughts here, you know, is it that you don't know or that we don't know? In England. There's a point where it kind of becomes sophistry and it's a limitation to is it? No, but let me ask you a question. What's sophistry? Um, the art of winning a debate rather than the art of find, finding but the truth. But Pete, yeah, like, Pete, you know, like, Pete, you know, yeah. Pete. To sum up sophistry, you know the old atheist argument that like, oh, God's omnipotent, he's all powerful. Okay, accept that. So can he create something that's more powerful than he is? If he can't, then he's not all powerful. And if he can, then he's not oh, all powerful. That was in that's uh, Aladdin. Okay. Right. Is it? Yeah, that's in Aladdin. Jeez, yeah, I yeah, can't yeah. believe I'm he bloody makes a genie. Can you make something more powerful than the genie? Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, yeah. listen. listen. Yeah, that's, I consider Pete. that sophistry. I, okay, but, whether it is or not, it's irrelevant right now because what we're saying is this you start off by saying we don't know then he said i don't know i don't know then i asked him do you know that we don't know he said i don't know that we don't know 
which means really the answer of I don't know, the agnostic answer is not serving your purpose at the moment. Because what you're, can well, I, I tell pretend it, could it be the case, could yeah, it be the I case, could it be, could it be the case that you are using agnosticism as a psychological barrier, yeah, you're trying to put that, wedge that between you and investigation because you're afraid to know. Could it be that you're afraid to know? I don't think so. Do you, but are you sure? Or I'm do you not know? Sure about very little, but I don't think so. Are you afraid to know? Say again. Are you afraid to know? No. Are you know that? I think that. Yeah, I don't but think you, I'm uh, you're not, so you're not a pure agnostic if you know that. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll think that. The spur of the moment, I said that I agreed in the firm. You have to go by what makes sense to you, don't you? Okay, no, I understand. But here's the question: Is your agnosticism specific to you, or is it that we cannot know? I suspect that we're none of us are ever going to know. Until. You suspect it, but are you sure? Yeah, I have no beliefs. So but are you sure? Not, are, you, are you sure that we can't know? I'm not sure about anything. Excellent, Be beautiful. Right. So then we have to entertain the logical possibilities, oh, because yeah. since you don't know, like for example, sorry to put it this way, and I like both of you. No, no, it's cool. But <laughs> not, yeah, not, yeah, not, not knowing, yeah, not, not, knowing. So, not knowing is ignorance. So, sorry, say again. Not knowing is another word for it. Not agnostic, but another word for it is ignorance. Yeah. All right. So if we're ignorant about a situation, then there's no way that you can have something to say about it, really. Yeah, we aren't saying anything. Okay, good. So here's the point. If you're ignorant, there's either you want to seek knowledge about it or not. Um, Do you want to seek knowledge about it or not? I, I seek knowledge about it all the time. Yeah, living. Into things all the, time. the act of living is like seeking knowledge. Yeah, yeah. If you offer yourself, no, no, you're no. no longer but we're, we're asking a very specific, a specific question of how do we get here? And I'm okay. being awkward to move in the goalpost. No, no, but yeah, move in the goalpost. What I'm trying to say is that moving the goalpost isn't working here because what it is is that it's only revealing a psychological bias. It's only because you started off by saying, I don't know. We don't know. I don't know that I don't know. Your, your, your knowledge towards agnosticism has shifted four times in this is both of you. You seem like Which, a man no, who's sure. still, It's still the same, it's still basically the same, isn't it? I How? haven't changed my views no, at can, all. Let me ask you a question. Ha, have we, can we know, can we know? I can't help you. Can we know about where we came from? I can't help you. I've got no information on that subject. Can we know? Can we infer? No, can we know? I've got no information on that. Have I? But can we know? I've got no idea. So you don't know that we can know, if we can know or not? See, this is just for word games. And now I come to talk to you about something completely different and it doesn't matter. Like, we can just forget about it. Don't worry. About it. <laughs> yeah? You guys have an interesting conversation about I, I was actually can we know? coming to talk about what is happening in the UK at the moment. We could talk about that. I thought you guys had an interesting conversation about quantum physics. Sorry, and maybe you know. No, mate, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. No, it's fine, don't sorry, worry about it. It's okay. It's Let's just, just uh, yeah, <laughs> fine. I feel like a bit out of my depth. No, you're a good no, you're right. No, you're all right. You're, you're <laughs> no. fine, you're fine. It's okay. I just thought it was really important because there's shit going on. We could, okay, talk about it. Yeah, 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 really, yeah, really yeah, interested. Yeah, yeah. Really well, 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 what's the main purpose of these well, people who are fighting each other? What is the main purpose? How are you going to address it? In reality. In reality. Anyway, I'm just going to get a drink of water or something. I'll see you later. It's nice to meet you, man. Oh, you got that, yeah? No, 